Make sure you're watching. Make sure you can see me, Jaden. Gabe, you watching? Okay, the first, are you videoing already? Do you want you in it? No, I don't, I mean, just this stuff. <laughs> the first thing you guys have to do is tape down your template, okay? So the cardboard, it's really chipboard. Template, we need to tape this down like on the corner so it doesn't move because it will move around on you. And you'll take that tape off when you're done. But you and your partner can put it in the middle of the table and then you don't have to untape it and retape it. Okay, so that's step one. And then on this uh, block that I'm doing, the first thing to do is print red is what the steps say. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna put some red block ink because you guys are printing with blocks. So you're gonna use block ink, not intaglio ink. Um, you'll put that on this glass plate. We're not using jelly plates. We use the glass plate to roll out a nice layer. That's the sound you wanna hear. You don't want it too thick. Notice that I left a bunch of ink at the top. That's your reserve ink. So the next time I go to print, I'll grab a little bit more of that. You do not want to roll this whole plate out. That's not the point, Gabe, are you listening? Yeah. If you do that, you have way too much ink, okay? So just grab a little and bring it down here to get that nice like crackly texture and sound, and then we'll roll it on the block. If you have too much ink, uh, when you go to print, especially your first one, that one's gonna be a little messed up. Now this one, this ink dries pretty quick too. You do wanna get a nice even coat. We'll set your block in this template all the way up, pushed up to the corner because we want it to be in the same spot every time. And then you'll take your tabs. Do, actually I don't want to do your funky paper first, so I'm going to do this one. Um, put your tabs on first. So notice I'm not laying the paper down. So put your tabs on first and then you can like lightly lay this down. And I totally forgot to get something called a Baron that you print with. It's in with the brayers. Um, this is a baron and it's just like to push down uh, the print with so you'll rub that make sure you get the edges and the corners granted for this one print the only thing that's red is like the finger and the star so I really just need to make sure I get those areas Okay, and then we'll pull it off. Take your tabs off. And there's his first one. Now you're gonna do five of the exact same thing. So each one of your five pieces of paper are gonna have, well, he has no white, so he just has a red square. It's gonna have a red square on it. This guy, even this one, the funky paper, is gonna have a red square right, rectangle right in the middle. Um, now to do the next one, I'm gonna have to re-roll it. So I'm gonna bring it off of my template that was another thing I didn't really tell you guys. If you have it on your template to begin with, 100% you're gonna roll off and you're gonna roll onto this chipboard. And then when you put your paper on, you're gonna get a big old red mark at the top. So make sure that you pull it away to roll your ink on and then you can push it forward um, whenever you're ready to print. So this can go on the dry rack. Um, and once you do all five, you're, you can rinse this block off, carve away your next layer. And then what do you guys think? Like when his next color is, uh green yeah green so do you guys think like does it make sense that he'll print right on top of this red that's the next step so he's not going to prep five more pieces of paper he's always going to print on the same five pieces of paper so he'll carve away what's going to be red and then when he goes to print again he's going to be doing green he'll go get this off the drying rack or out of his basket and he's literally going to print right on top of the red okay same five piece of paper, same exact print, five times. Do you guys have questions? Does that make sense? Okay, so, cool. 